the newest podcast covering all aspects of the biodiesel, renewable diesel, and sustainable aviation fuel industries is here. From the experts at Clean Fuels Alliance America, it's the Better, Cleaner, Now podcast. Authentic conversations uncovering the dynamic benefits of clean renewable fuels. From enhanced performance and immediate cost savings to lower emissions, positive economic impact, and improved air quality. The benefits keep growing. Bringing you the insights that fuel progress, this is the Better, Cleaner, Now podcast with your host, Scott Tremaine. And welcome. This week, Clean Fuels Alliance America's Communications Director, Heather Buchter, discusses the upcoming Clean Fuels Conference with conference co-directors Brad Shimmons and Jenna Rose. Scott, thank you. The start of a new year, which means our Clean Fuels Conference is right around the corner. It's the one can't miss event of the year for biodiesel, renewable diesel and sustainable aviation fuel. And I am thrilled to have the co-directors of our conference with us today. Brad and Jenna, thank you both for being in the studio with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So this is technically only the second Clean Fuels Conference for our association, but certainly not the second conference for our association. And Jenna, I heard a rumor that you've been to every single one of them except for maybe one. Yes. So this used to be the National Biodiesel Conference and Expo before the organization rebranded. And so we changed the conference to become the Clean Fuels Conference. So this is actually our 21st conference. And I only missed one. It was 2008 when my first son was born. And so that's he's a good now excuse. 15. <laughs> Well, I would have been eight months pregnant. And I remember I actually looked, we were in Florida and I looked at hospitals in Florida just, and then I thought, what am I doing? I can't go. (laughs) So that's the only one I've missed. Dedication. (laughs) Dedication. And of course, um, National Biodiesel Board used to be that conference, switched our name two years ago. So now we are the Clean Fuels Conference. And of course, we're going to be covering land, sea, sky. We're going to be coming together for a week of expert sessions, exhibits, and showcases. Attendees include clean fuels producers and marketers, distributors, feedstock providers, fleet managers, original equipment manufacturers, OEMs, as we call them, uh, ESG officers, and then also members of the media. So everyone really coming together this year in Fort Worth, Texas, February 5th through the 8th. So let's get down to where we're going to be. Brad, tell us about Fort Worth. Yeah, so we're excited to be going back down to Fort Worth. Uh, We were supposed to be there in 2020, but obviously COVID happened. So now we're going back in 2024. You know, Dallas, Fort Worth is a vibrant area, lots of uh, restaurants and entertainment around the hotel that we're going to be at, which is the Fort Worth Omni. And we're very excited to be going back there. And I know in the past we've been at the convention center there in Fort Worth. This is actually going to be all centrally located at the hotel, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we we, we did get out of the the convention center model, you know, two years ago or tried to two years ago, but then we back <laughs> in Tampa. So, uh, but th- this time it is just the hotel only. Uh, so it's going to feel a lot more intimate, a lot more together. Um, you know, having conference central is kind of the the hub of where everything's going to be happening. We'll be having our main stage speakers there. We'll have our booths, our meals, our breakouts are going to be right across the the hallway. So everything's going to be on one level and feel really compact, uh, but really comfortable as well. Very unique. Yeah, and that brings up a good point that everything's centrally located. This is really kind of a one-stop shop to do business with all these different opportunities and uh, different networking opportunities at play. And it sounds like there is still plenty of networking opportunities that happen at this event. Absolutely. You know, Monday night, we're going to kick off with our most uh, popular and well-attended event with our Clean Fuels uh, Welcome Reception. Uh, that's going to be in the Omni Fort Worth Hotel, right where Conference Central is at. So we're very excited about that. Uh, Conference Central, once again, is the model that, you know, it's the main stage where everything's going to be. Our, our expo hall, main stage presentations, meals, booths. Uh, networking business opportunities are going to be there. So it just creates a central location for people um, where they can, you know, do business together. We also have an opportunity for a lot of our sponsors where they have boardrooms where they get a lot of their business done. They are having meetings every 15 minutes for eight to 10 hours a day, but they're doing a lot of business there. You know, this conference is a place for meeting and doing business. You know, we, we have heard, you know, full year's worth of fuel production is being sold at this conference during this time because it's the beginning of the year. And another reason why we have our conference at the start of the year, because so much business gets done, and this really does provide an opportunity to bring everyone together. Absolutely. 
Yeah, and you bring up a really good point about it being a central hub. Who are some of the local companies and speakers that will be at this year's event? Well, we are taking full advantage of our location. And and frankly, this is one of the best parts about being in Dallas is all the resources we have there. And so we are go- we've invited and, and they've accepted. We have a few people from PepsiCo, of course, one of the largest food and beverage companies in the world. They're headquartered there in Dallas, a very active user of biodiesel and renewable diesel. And um, really have thought outside of the box with their company to make their carbon goals happen. And so we'll have our friend Adam Buchenbach, who, of course, a lot of people know by now in our industry. He's the director of fleet engineering and sustainability. And we also have their chief sustainability officer. So very excited to have them in a panel we're calling Now That's Refreshing, Biodiesel, Renewable Diesel, and a New Generation in Decarbonization. I love the play on words. (laughs) A lot of syllables. Um, We also have BNSF Railway, one of the biggest railway companies in the country. The Vice President of Agricultural Products will be speaking to us and an additional uh, sustainability person as well. Southwest and American Airlines, both headquartered right there in Dallas. We were just talking about the airport and how easy it is to access. And they, of course, are very interested in sustainable aviation fuel. All of the major airlines have made some sort of commitment to sustain to sustainable fuel. And so they're headquartered right there. We've got two fairly high up people from each airline coming. So very excited about that. And then the last one I would mention is Darling Ingredients, which is a rendering company. They call themselves the original recycling company because they have been uh, collecting used cooking oil for so long and turning it into products. And of course, they're very involved in renewable diesel now. So lots of great uh, resources we've been able to tap into. And I'm so excited they all said yes to us. Yes. Yeah. That's always so exciting when what you plan actually pans out as well. Um, Now, a lot of the guests that you mentioned are going to be main stage guests, but we do have sessions going on throughout the day as well. Can you talk about some of the other topics and speakers that attendees can expect to see? Yes, we have so much great content. For many years, attendees at this event said they came almost more for the networking and business meetings than for the educational content. And now that has flipped. Our recent surveys show they're coming back for the content. And a lot of that has to do with we've got new fuels, we've got new industries who are interested in us, and there is just a lot of new stuff to talk about. So we are doing our best to try to accommodate that and and give people what they're most interested in when when they come. So... um, you know, demand is skyrocketing for these fuels and expected to continue. So one thing at the root is a genuine effort to decarbonize. And that's we've, we're seeing that happening at all kinds of corporate levels, government levels. Very exciting to see. But so it includes things like the the low carbon fuel standard from California, that initiative. So one of the sessions we have is called Extreme Carbon Makeover, Clean Fuels and the Next Generation of LCF Policy. So that's looking at California and Oregon and some of these other places. What does the 2.0 version look like? Uh, We also have a session called the Low Score Lowering Carbon Intensity with Climate Smart Ag. Climate Smart Ag is the phrase you hear everywhere now. Um, Federal government investing in that big time, What does that mean for the biofuels industry and for our farmers? So very excited about that session. And then with all this demand, a big theme this year will be feedstock. Where are we going to get the materials to make all this fuel? So that is going to be one thing we'll look at is how will we rise to that challenge? The opening session has a panel that will feature Bayer, ADM, and Darling Ingredients. So powerhouse players in that space. We also have a winter oil seed session I'm really excited about. That's looking at things like penny cress, uh, cover crops, th- uh, crops that can serve as cover crops and also be turned into fuel for our industry. And we've got an Ask the Expert session. This will be a shorter session. It's called Grease is the Word, Global Used Cooking Oil Supplies. So pretty self-explanatory. Mm-hmm. So um, a, a lot to talk about with feedstock. We'll also feature federal and state policy, of course, which m- remains hugely important to our industry. We've got a, a federal funding pre-conference session. We've got a 101 pre-conference session for people who might be somewhat new to the industry 
and want to learn the basics before they get thrown into the fire for the week. <laughs> so that's always very well attended. And then we've got some good technical sessions as well. ASTM has a lot going on with biodiesel specifications named one of the, the, the one of the top 10 most influential standards of all time. Uh, we'll be taking a deep dive into what's going on with that and why the future for B20 is very bright. And um, Mighty Machines, ships, trains, and other off-road prospects. So this will be looking at some of these new markets and what is happening on a technical level to secure OEM approvals and ensure that liquid fuels play a pivotal role in helping these uh, machines harness the power they need while cleaning up their environmental impact. Yeah, and so that's... uh obviously jam-packed with content. So we recognize that we're bringing the content this year and there's just a variety. For people to learn who are new to the industry or exploring different ways to decarbonize, but also getting into kind of the nitty gritty of what it takes to move our fuels forward. Yep, absolutely. And one of the other main stage panels I'll mention quickly is uh, that I'm really excited about. We're calling Bullish on Biodiesel. So we're going to hear from three biodiesel company executives on why the future for biodiesel has never looked brighter. So um, it's a bit of a challenge with new fuels and new markets to cover all that ground. But we I think we've done a pretty good job of um, taking a deep dive into everything we can. You're listening to the Better Cleaner Now podcast. And we are back speaking with Jenna Higgins-Rose and also Brad Shimmons, our co-directors of the Clean Fuels Conference. Talked a lot about the content. Also want to talk a lot about the fleets and the automakers that are going to be there because we do have a reception specifically dedicated to them one night. Uh, Jenna, tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, we always have a great turnout from OEMs and fleets at this event. So we, we love having them. This year, we have a main stage session called The Time Value of Carbon, OEMs and Fleets Tackle the Greenhouse Gas Challenge. And that's a main stage session that will be followed by the Clean Fuels Vehicle Showcase and Happy Hour event. And I'm very excited about this. It's going to be at the historic Ashton Depot, which is a short walk. It's uh, It served as a train station for nearly a century, going all the way back to 1899. And it's been beautifully restored. It now serves as a full-service event venue, indoor-outdoor. Uh, so it'll be the perfect place to have a vehicle showcase and happy hour. And people can go and check out the latest biodiesel-powered vehicles on display with uh, our OEM and fleet partners. And of course, always great food, drinks, and fun. There are a lot of alternative fuel events out there. What would you say sets the Clean Fuels Conference apart? Well, we've had attendees from Fortune 500 companies call this a world-class event. And you know they go to a lot of conferences. So to hear that kind of feedback is really gratifying. And it's true. We're very proud of that. It's a great event the Clean Fuels Conference punches way above its weight class. We put a lot of effort into making it go above and beyond the standard for conferences of our industry's size. It has a higher production value. We partner with a company called My Media that does production work for for companies all over the country. And they help us have a very cool production value to our event. Um, It's stuff people might not really think about, but things like videos, music, lighting, all of those things just make everything come alive and make it more of an experience than just another show. And I know we've got a really different uh, setup this year, so to speak. So something to look forward to. I think that's always the goal is to raise the bar for the next year. And I feel like my media and just um, everyone on the planning committee always strives to have a different and exciting element added to each conference. Right. And um, there's so much room for creativity in how our conference central area is set up and the main stage. And this year, yeah, it's going to be an immersive experience with a huge screen. I can't remember how big it is, but it's a huge curved screen at the front of the room. Wall to wall. Wall to wall. I mean, that must have been one heck of a Black Friday purchase (laughs) for my media. Uh, But just massive screen that's going to be immersive. And I think it's going to be a very cool experience. Um, we, we put a lot of work into thinking about the content as we've talked about today. 
and also preparing with panelists and speakers. I think that's another thing that sets us apart. There are a lot of things that happen behind the scenes that makes it all polished and seamless. And, um, you know, this is a, a chance for us to put our best foot forward. So we're, we're always trying to raise the bar. The, the food is always good, Brad. We feed everyone very well. As much as we possibly can. As much as we can. And we try to inject some fun. So this year we have the Vehicle Showcase. I think there might be a special guest at the Vehicle Showcase. You just have to come to see who. Uh, but, you know, last year we had pirates in Tampa, pirates walking around. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Donnell wore the eye patch. But Donnell wore the eye patch. <laughs> Who knows what he's going to do in Fort Worth? <laughs> now, all ye mateys, head outside to the sales plaza for the ultimate pirate-themed happy hour. We'll celebrate this first-ever Clean Fuels Conference in true Gasparilla style. Yo, ho, ho, I'll see you port side. <laughs> that was one of my favorite moments that he just committed to it and did his pirate accent. And it was great. Um, you know, when we were in Las Vegas, we had Elvis. We had an Elvis impersonator and uh, a magician walking around doing just incredible card tricks. So we try to do little things that really make it memorable for attendees and make it stand out from other events. And another fun thing we do is an auction. And that is for the Clean Fuels Foundation, who that foundation does all kinds of educational programs and um, education efforts that clean fuels cannot do, but the foundation can. And so I always love the auction, Brad. I don't know if you've ever gotten anything cool from the auction, but I have. I've, I bought the Apple Watch the last uh, two or three years. It's been, uh, and, my, and my wife loves it. So you know that's always good. But you know another another thing that an item that's going to be at the conference that's always a, a good seller is um, our Clean Fuels Conference package for next year when we're in San Diego. Uh, it comes with a two registrations and a three nights hotel stay at the next year will be the Hilton San Diego. So we're very excited about that. Um, last year, I took home a Spider-Man movie poster. I remember It was this. far from home. It was signed by all the, the cast members. And I had to negotiate with our chairman a little bit, I which was scary. That, yeah, I was I was confused at first. I was like, wait, did our chairman win this or did Jenna? <laughs> because <laughs> you were having a very deep conversation over there. Well, what we have, it's all done by app now. So there are a lot of physical items there that you can go and check out. Tickets to different things. You could win a free conference registration. Um, memorabilia, sports all memorabilia. All kinds of memorabilia. Sport. We had a master's assigned um, master's something flag. last year. Yeah, flag. Master's flag. It was pretty cool. I think cool. there's a beach cottage in there this year. A beach yeah. cottage. I would not. When you're, when you're in January and someone offers up a beach house, I'll put a bit on that. Wouldn't hate that. Um, Jim Evanoff, our friend Jim Evanoff from Yellowstone National Park, he usually does a guided tour of Yellowstone, which I have yet to do, but would love to get that tour from Jim, who has lived there most of his life and was a park ranger. Um, so all kinds of things. And so anyway, what happened was it's on an app and the bidding closed right in the middle of main stage session. And I run the main stage <laughs> sessions. So I missed it. I was, uh, I got, I thought I would remember and I got distracted. So anyway, Mike was nice enough to sell it to me for what he paid for it. So there you go. You I still did came a, home with it. <laughs> yeah. And ended up redoing a rec room all based around this poster. So lots oh, of, lots of very cool things, but um, I think the bottom line is that we recognize how important this event is for our industry and we want to make it shine. It's definitely an investment on the part of clean fuels, but it, it really pays dividends. Um, you know, clean fuels, our board, Donnell all recognize how important this event is and they're very committed to it. And that's one of the reasons I love working on it. So it's not just about clean fuels and our members, it's others who may be looking at our fuels and trying to decide if we're right for their industry, like rail, for example, or marine. You know, last year we had someone from Disney who came. Mm -hmm. So okay. there are people coming and wanting to to meet who's behind it, see, see that we're for real. Um, so it's really important to put our 
best foot forward and we're polished and professional. You, you know, we, we want people to know you can trust us with your vehicles. We know what we're doing. We're, we're a real industry and we're ready to rise to the challenge with you on your decarbonization goals. Very well said. And of course, just weeks away now, Brad, how can people attend? They can register at cleanfuelsconference.org. But when you register, don't forget, you got to book your room. The Omni and the Sheraton Hotel uh, are going fast. So please book as soon as you possibly can. And overall, it's a great value. Um, Our priority is putting on a great industry event that helps businesses get business done. Come be a part of that. Sponsorships and exhibitors. How are they going this year? They're going great this year. We're very fortunate for all the support that we get for this conference. Exhibitor-wise, we opened it up. We sold out. We opened it up again. We sold out. So we opened it up again, and we're so we're very you know very excited for all the exhibitors that are coming to to, to the show. Uh, sponsorship wise, it's once again very appreciative of all the support we get for this conference. It wouldn't be possible without them. Uh, we got a great list of sponsors. Some of the champions or our champion sponsors that we want to definitely thank is Chevron Renewable Energy Group, Western Iowa Energy, Ag Processing, Progran, B8, and KH Marquet. But as always, I'm always taking calls and and opportunities. So if you're interested in sponsoring, please reach out to me. And if there's not an opportunity this year, we can always look at next year. Well, we're going to go to beautiful San Diego, and I'm looking for exhibitors and sponsors already for next year. So, yeah, if you're available and ready to go, reach out to me now. A very exciting time, and we hope to see all of you at the Clean Fuels Conference. Again, that is in Fort Worth, Texas, February 5th through the 8th. Brad, Jenna, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Very excited. And thank you for listening. Be sure to rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts and join us next week for another episode of the Better Cleaner Now podcast. Thanks for listening. Better Cleaner Now is a production of Clean Fuels Alliance America. Follow us at cleanfuels.org and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. For more information on Clean Fuels Alliance America, visit us at cleanfuels.org.